Hey guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Behind me, my boat Benito Shan is 45, equipped with a dock and go system. It means rotating sail drive 360 degree. What does it mean? Let's figure out. <music> It is a quite new system. As I know, you can meet it only in a Benito sailing boat. It's a completely new system, electronic management of engine and gearbox, I mean, sail drive. I will show you diagrams and after how does it work. Let's what are you dreaming about? Is it with you or without? This system works only with all electronic devices on. Now you can see our boat, it means GPS started. Let's start engine. Okay. Now you can see this LED uh, on a video probably it's blinking, but it's not blinking, it's just red light, constant red light. Dock and go system. So is waiting for uh, any reaction. Before we get in deeply inside dock and go system by Benito or by ZF, uh, let's find out how rotating cell drive works. Now you can see gas lever, look at this. So it's totally ugly and rusty. I would like to remind you the price of this handle is 5000 US dollar. You can see how ugly it is with this money. So company ZF, you can see logo. So I think it's totally not acceptable. So now we have a sail drive in a regular position. So the water flow from bow to stern push our boat forward. Engage backward. So now we start to go back. So sail drive turn it 180 degree and start to push water in opposite direction. As soon as I disengage uh, backward, the sail drive will turn in a regular position. So now you can see uh, the probe is working in a full efficient mode. It doesn't matter if you go forward or backward, you have a 100% efficiency of your probe. So if your boat equipped with a regular sail drive, it means if you go forward, your probe start to work in a regular way. If you start backward, it starts to turn in opposite direction. So if you don't have a fully, fully rotating blades, you will not have a full efficiency of your probe. So now let's switch dock and go joystick and try. One important thing, if you switch dock and go system on, When you use joystick, your rudder is not working. Now you can see green LED is constantly on. So probably on a video it will be blink, but it's not blinking. It's just light. When you engage, this LED will be red, you see. It has a progression, so if you push it a little bit, your RPM will be slow. If you push it fully, your RPM will be high. You push your joystick forward. So now let's go backward. 
cell drive turn it 180 degree and start to push water forward so it means boat is going backward so now we start to push boat on a side so let's go starboard cell drive rotated in a 90 degree to port side and start to blow on a port side direction so the same uh, will be if you push it in opposite direction cell drive turn it in a starboard side and start to blow on a starboard <laughs> One very important thing is when you uh, push your joystick on the side, your boat starts to move on the side. But it's only related to stern. The bow is a moving by bow thruster. So it is a separate system which work together with a rotating cell drive. When you start dock and go system, uh, the bow thruster automatically became on. So, but if you want, you can switch it on and off manually by pressing two buttons together for a two second. After two seconds, uh, it's switched off. Now, if you press and hold, it's switched on. When I switched it off, you see uh, a raw LED start to blink in a joystick because we switched bow thruster off. But anyway, uh, it works. Now the part I love most. You can turn joystick like this. Or on a different side. So when you do it like this, when you turn top of joystick, your cell drive start to blow in one side and bow thruster start to blow in the opposite side. It means you can rotate around the mast, so you can make a full turn in one single place, which is uh, very close to size of your boat. When your joystick is on, your gas handle doesn't work. I hope you understood more or less how the system works. So now let's get deeply inside and I will show you uh, all equipment and how it organized. In this boat we have uh, two different types of computer. First one, VMU, is a vehicle mounted unit. It's a main computer uh, which manages all uh, devices in a network. Another one is a TCU, is a transmission control unit. Uh, this part control cell drive is a brain of clutch actuator but uh, in uh, our boat we have a uh, rotating cell drive so tcu connected directly to steering motor uh, to vmu we have uh, two different connections first one is a control head unit or a gas lever and another one is a joystick uh, VMU computer connected to bow thruster uh, and to the engine itself. On this diagram you can see all the system and now let's see in a real life how it looks like. You can see this part which you cannot buy separately and need to buy it together with a handle for 5000 US. Inside you can see marine encoder. By the way, this marine encoder you can find in any vehicle. Is it just regular gas pedal? Get inside engine compartment. Now you can see all these cables, which is going to VMU. It is a computer uh, which manage everything related to uh, engine to cell drive to gas to joystick everything this actuator uh, managed by these two electric wires and one cable which add or reduce rpm of engine now you can see the end part of cable which start from actuator and actuator add 
or remove RPM of motor. This is a sail drive. You can see the mark ZF and top part, electric part, which turn sail drive in any direction. And you can see this cable is uh, going from a joystick and this is from computer. On the right you can see terminator which and the network. Now you can see this computer which manage uh, the cell drive. Uh, by the way, the cell drive is B54. So it's regular cell drive with a rotating top. So guys, let's make conclusion about dock and go system. As you know, it is an electronic lever, joystick, uh, engine management, gearbox, I mean cell drive management. And of course, it need to be maintained well. If you have uh, troubles with your system, uh, you start to write message to ZF. ZF is a fully bastard because they don't have any support. Uh, official answer was go to Yanmar dealer. When I come to Yanmar dealer, they open eyes like this. Like, it is an electronic lever never met before. So if technicians, if specialists never saw the system before, what can they do? nothing so uh, if you buy boat equipped with a dock and go uh, system you will have a full support within a warranty period uh, the joystick in my boat was changed five times after fifth time it started to work well and uh, after long period of time i had fault so uh, the prob problem was with the uh, electric cable which connect handle to computer. Uh, I sent message, can I buy this wire separately because I want just to change it. And official answer was no, you need to buy full handle with a cable. So I have to pay 5000 US dollar for electric cable are you serious so my opinion zf is a bastard if somebody watch me from zf you should know burn in hell okay for future if i decide to buy a new bot uh, for sure i want to buy it with the system i understood risks i know how that system works which troubles it could make for me but anyway uh, I would like to buy because it's so easy and uh, and so comfortable that I would prefer that system again so we showed you how dock and go by Benito and by ZF system works don't forget to subscribe uh, write a comments and see you next week Week. Bye bye.